Hello, this is Eric Bobro with another Archicad video tip. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of things that will simplify your life so you can get more work done more easily and quickly. When you're in Archicad and you're about to draw something, whether it's a wall or an object or a line, you need to pick what layer it's going to go on. And here we have the object tool and it's set to the Archicad layer, which would be visible all the time. And usually we're going to put it on a layer, uh, whether it's furniture or fixtures or um, other things that are going to be seen on specific drawings. So um, right now all of these layers are visible because we're in a special layer combination for drafting uh, for initial design purposes. Now when we switch to the, the first floor plan, which would be construction documents, then only certain layers are visible. For example, we usually don't show furniture on a traditional construction document, so we would have to pick out a different layer that was appropriate. Now when we go to a structural plan, um, here, the layers get uh, even different. There are fewer layers shown on a structural plan and on a reflected ceiling plan. We'll see different ones yet again. Uh, now, it can get a little bit um, confusing. Just uh, take a little time to sort of see what layers are visible because the layer list actually is going down below the bottom of my screen right now, and I have to scan through them and think about all of those. Now, this gets even tougher when we're in a project, for example, like this one. Uh, where we have a longer layer list. Uh, if I go to the layer combination here, you'll see that um, we uh, barely just gotten into the A wall layer by the time we're at the bottom of the screen, and there are many more layers yet to go. And uh, so many of them are hidden um, and really shouldn't even be um, getting in our way. So how can we avoid having these layers that aren't appropriate for a particular drawing type uh, show up in the list? Well, Archicad has a built-in feature under the Options Work Environment dialog boxes and palettes. You can pick this option to hide locked layers in pop-up palettes. What this says is when a layer is locked, don't show it in the pop-up palette because, after all, you can't modify anything on that layer, so you shouldn't be able to select that layer to draw anything. At least if you choose this, Archicad will interpret it that way. Now, when I go here, you'll see the layer list is much shorter. In fact, it ends even before the bottom of the screen. Now, um, the way that this is handled is, or um, what you need to do in order to make this work, is you need to go into the dialog box here, and let's just uh, see in a normal uh, view of a layer combination, say for the floor plan, we look at the layer list, you'll see um, some layers on, some layers off, and notice that I've carefully locked every layer that's hidden. You can see whenever the eyeball is closed, there's a lock icon. Now this is uh, what allows me to have that short layer list because the layers that are hidden don't even show up because they're also locked. And I have that preference setting saying don't show the locked layers. Now this is a little tedious if you want to manually set all of this because you have to, in the layer combination, go and say, well, if this is hidden, let me lock it. You know, you go here, you lock it manually, you click on each one of these, and you lock them. Right now, of course, they're already locked, but let's say um, we made those changes, and we would say update. Uh, but there is a quicker way to do it, and that is to sort, instead of by layer name here, to sort by clicking above the eyeball. And then it'll show all the layers that are visible in a row, and then it'll show the layers that are hidden. And so then what you can do is you can select the layers from here down, and if you wish, just click the button to lock them. Let me show you how this works in the other file, which is a standard Archicad template file. So I'll go to the preference here under the options work environment, dialog boxes and palettes, and say I'd like to hide lock layers and pop up palettes. Initially, the layer list will not get any shorter because all of these hidden layers are not locked. So we're only going down to a wall here. We still have another dozen layers down below. Now if I go to the layer dialog box and say for, let's say we're in the reflected ceiling plan and I sort instead of in the usual alphabetical order, I sort here by visibility, then I can go and select this layer and shift click down at the bottom. And you can see all of these layers are selected and I simply say lock. Once I've made that change, I say update. Now I will have to do that for other layer combinations. I'll just skip randomly to the floor plan here, and we'll see that the same layers are still selected, but they're now scattered a bit. So what I'll need to do is, with them still sorted 
by visibility, and I can click on this to make sure that it's sorted properly, then I can go and select in this current layer combination all the layers that are hidden and lock them, and then again update this. Now, when I go to the object tool, you'll see the layer list is much shorter for the floor plan, and if I switch the layer combination from floor plan here, um, oh, uh, let's say to the reflected ceiling plan, then this layer combination here gets even shorter yet. So we're combining two different things, which is a preference that is under the options work environment, dialog boxes and palettes. And we're saying that we'd like to hide lock layers and pop-up palettes. And in conjunction with that, we need to lock most or all of the layers that are hidden or turned off so that they don't show up in the pop-up palette list. So this will simplify your life, make it easier for you to select the appropriate layer for the particular drawing, such as a ceiling plan, or a structural plan, or a site plan. Um, it'll speed up your work and reduce errors, because you will have less likelihood you'll put things on the wrong layer. So these are some great, um, quick things that you can do to simplify your life and use ARCHICAD more effectively. This has been Eric Bobro, and I really appreciate your watching. Please uh, leave a comment down below, and I uh, look forward to reading them. And uh, there'll be some more video tips coming up soon. Thanks.